On March 11, the one-year memorial was held for French parachutist Ahmad Ibn Ziyadin, the first death in an eight-day-long shooting spree in Toulouse and nearby Montauban that ended with a total of seven victims killed including three children at a Jewish day school. The shooter, Mohamed Marat, had targeted Ibn Ziyadin to punish France for its participation in battling the Taliban in Afghanistan. But 12 months after the series of attacks which concluded with Marat's own death after a 32-hour siege the country is still learning details about the self-proclaimed Al-Qaeda members' transformation from petty hood to violent jihadist. Perhaps most disturbing among those revelations are indications that the nation's domestic intelligence agency identified Marat as a potential security risk as early as 2007, yet failed to prevent the mass killings of March 2012. The latest evidence arose March 10 when the regional French channel France 3 Media Pyrenees revealed documents showing security forces had begun taking notice of Mirage ties to extremists in Toulouse as early as October 2006. Though that initial file focused mainly on the higher-profile militants that Mirage was in contact with, it did contain the photo of the smiling 18-year-old holding a coron in one hand and a large knife in the other. By May 2007, the France 3 report noted, a second brief devoted primarily to Mirai described the youth as a radical jihadi who recently joined the Salafist movement police had infiltrated. More, France's Benghazi, was a case of Mohamed Mirai bungled. That online report came ahead of France 3's March 11th broadcast of a documentary casting additional doubt on the official theory that Mirai had been a lone wolf who'd prepared and carried out his three gun attacks alone making detection by security forces nearly impossible. That version has been fiercely defended by authorities in former President Nicolas Sarkozy's conservative government, who deny that Lamp's oversight was in any way responsible for Mirage's deadly spree. That position has been challenged by families of victims, investigative journalists, and even members of the security forces, to argue that the intelligence services underestimated the threat Mirage represented. That has come atop evidence that officials allowed themselves to be fooled by the aspiring jihadi about his activities and contacts during his 2011 trip to Pakistan. Identified by intelligence agencies during two different trips to Pakistan, Mirage told investigators in France his final visit in 2011 just months before he his killing campaign began had been dedicated to tourism and his search for a wife. Indeed, during his negotiations with police during the siege leading up to his death, Mirai mocked the intelligence agent who had questioned him upon his return from Pakistan in October, 2011. He said, rather than sightseeing and looking for a marriage match, he had visited what he said were all Qaeda handlers, receiving instruction and training for the gun attacks. Evidence has also emerged in the year since Mirai had far more contacts with suspected radicals than initially thought, and had used evasive measures to telephone them without being detected. In comments earlier this month, France's socialist interior minister Manuel Balls acknowledged that his predecessors had made errors, failings, and faults in handling Mirage. Critics denounced Balls' allegations of intelligence failure by conservatives in the Mirage case as the same kind of political exploitation of terror that Sarkozy was accused of employing to boost his failed 2012 re-election bid. Despite mounting indication that intelligence failure played some a role in Mirage's ability to begin his killing spree and remain at large for nearly two weeks before being neutralized, even some French anti-terrorism officials who've been critical of Mirage's case warn against an overly simplified reading of it in hindsight. There was without doubt the failure to include all specialized forces available, the failure of security services involved to communicate between themselves and at some point the human failure of analyzing and appreciating how great a threat Marat had become, says one senior anti-terrorism official who asked not to be named for security purposes. Marat is an example of how the terror threat is evolving from organized, relatively structured networks you can identify and watch to one where individual militants make glancing contact with mentors and supporters before bouncing back off on their own and later going into action. That's a far more difficult kind of threat to identify and keep track of. And that's the lesson to be learned from the Mirage case. Read more. HTTP colon slash slash world dot time dot com slash 2013 slash 03 slash 11 slash the terror of Toulouse How much did the French know about a spree shooter slash number sign 9 ZZ to NG6 FGZZ6?